Imagine you could press a button and instantly make millions for your online store. And what's gonna blow your mind is the fact that Nike and Ralph Lauren are currently using this feature to generate hundreds of million and the industry as a whole billions of dollars. And the best part is you can activate this feature with the push of a button. And in this video, we're gonna show you guys how it works and how it can help you stand out when it comes to starting and growing a clothing brand. If you don't know who I am, my name is John Santos and I started my first brand when I was 19 years old. I experienced the highs of being on national TV with Steve Harvey to the lows of losing tens of thousands of dollars on bad deals, bad products, and everything in between. I started this YouTube channel in order to share the wisdom that I wish I would have had and the resources I wish I would have been connected to. And the best part is everything that we share is absolutely free. Now, whether you're just getting started or perhaps already started your clothing brand, chances are you've heard of print on demand. But for those of you who haven't, I wanna briefly explain what this means. Print on demand essentially allows you as a designer to design and sell products. Once the products are sold, a print on demand company will print them and ship them to your end customer. The best part about this is that you don't come out of pocket for anything until after a product is sold and your customer doesn't know it's being made by anybody else. They think you are the person that's stocking and selling it. Now the cons to this is that you are limited in regards to what type of products you can sell. And the other con is that you do have lower profit margins because remember, this is being made one at a time, but this is where product personalization comes in. And this allows you to sell at a higher price and increase your profit margins alongside it. When it comes to personalization, companies such as Tiffany Jewelers may come to mind for engraving. Others such as Nike ID are using it to personalize sneakers. And in apparel, Ralph Lauren is offering it to customize their products on their site, allowing customers to personalize colors, names, and numbers. According to a Skycrest report, the gift personalization market is currently valued at $30.82 billion and is projected to grow to $48.75 billion by 2031. Now in the Polo Ralph Lauren example, I want to quickly show you guys how that is functioning. Polo Ralph Lauren tapped into personalization by allowing customers to fully customize certain collections on their store. They actually created a new product category called Gifts, which allows customers to shop for a loved one. Now, after selecting a t-shirt, you'll see that it gives you various options to personalize, from the shirt color to the type of logo, and even the thread to be used on it. Now, they also allow customers to type in their name and even include a number to make this a one-of-a-kind shirt. And as a customer is scrolling to learn a little bit more about the product, they also see a message that says, personalize this for the entire family family, which results in a customer not just buying one gift, but splurging on the rest of the fam. With this strategy, Ralph Lauren has improved their selling point and increased their profit per order. Now, until recently, unless you were a billion dollar brand, personalization wasn't something that you could offer your customers. But today there's a tool out there called Gelato Personalization Studio that's allowing brands all over the world to activate it on their store. Let me show you how it works. The Gelato Personalization Studio is a design program that's offered by Gelato, which is a print on demand business that operates around the world. They have an integration into Shopify and many other major selling platforms which allow you to launch a store and offer personalization just like Polo Ralph Lauren does at the push of a button. So after creating your Gelato account to the links in the description down below and connecting your Shopify account to it, you have access to a dashboard that looks like this. And after selecting the personalization studio, you'll be able to select a library of products that you can offer personalization on. We'll begin with selecting a mug and t-shirt for this project. Now after you select the product, you'll see a screen that looks like this and it'll ask you to upload artwork for your designs. Hey, so if you currently have designs already ready to go, then I encourage you to skip to the next part of this video to continue watching how personalization is going to work. But if you're watching this video right now and you're wondering, where do I get my graphics? How do I make graphics? What are the best graphics for personalization? Well, I want to introduce you to a tool that's called Kittle. Kittle makes it easy to create vector graphics, which is what you'll want to work with anytime you're doing print on demand. Now, the key to creating a personalized product collection is to keep the designs and personalization in mind. What this means is making sure that you design for font-based inserts and that your graphics really appeal to a certain niche within your niche. What this means is how can the graphics that you create be something that somebody wants to purchase for a significant other or a friend or somebody in their life. The goal is to create graphics that appeal to a lot of other people that want to gift it. That way it allows you to charge an extra fee for the service that you're providing. And the beauty about using a program like Kittle is that it actually creates vector graphics for you. And this means that the graphics are going to be super high quality. So regardless of what print shop you're working with, they'll be able to print in the best resolution and get the best end product to your customer. So now with the graphics completed, it's time for us to start uploading and customizing it for personalization. With the graphics exported from Kittle as a PNG,
png with a transparent background next thing we're going to do is upload them to gelato's personalization studio and we're going to begin by designing the mug now at the top here it's either going to show you that you can place it on the left or the right of the mug or right down the middle when it comes to personalizing it's really easy to add a personalized layer and this is why we designed the graphics a certain way because it allows us to add either a text layer an image layer or anything else that you allow your customer to design on your product now this is clearly a product that somebody would purchase for their significant other and it'll be a daily reminder to never forget to smile now another benefit to using the gelato studio is that you can actually download your mock-ups so you can promote it either on a newsletter your e-commerce store or on social media so after you set up the basics of your title as well as your description it'll take you to the setup of the pricing page now on this page is where you're actually going to choose what selling price you want for that specific product and that was really cool about gelato is that they actually have this price guide that tells you where your competitors may be selling a certain product for so you can either go up or down and adjust your pricing based on what the market is willing to buy now as you update this it'll actually show you what the gross profit or the estimated profit is going to be for you selling that product so in this example we can make up to ten dollars and fifty cents from that mug so once you've completed these details you can actually view it in your shopify store now if you view it in your shopify store this is actually how a customer is going to be looking at it so what they could do here is actually personalize the design and in this example they could change john to whatever name they want and i'm going to make it sarah and the customer will actually be able to preview how this mug is going to look from all the different angles that you included in the mock-ups that you approved and with the mug out the way it's time for us to knock out this t-shirt now when it came to the t-shirt to be honest guys i had a little bit of a challenge into how we were going to personalize a don't forget to smile t-shirt but i think i came up with something that was pretty unique now it will essentially be following the same exact process that we did for the mug once you're completed and you're happy with that mock-up you can actually select the mock-ups that are going to go onto your e-commerce store and it'll take you through similar steps that we just went through with the mug so you can choose your title you can choose your description you can also choose the sizes and whether you want to show those sizes onto your store and remember this is being made one at a time so once you set it here gelato is going to be using these details to fulfill and ship your orders now the beauty about working with gelato studio is that it removes a lot of manual work and labor so you don't need to hire additional people every time that your orders start to grow because they've streamlined the back end where anytime an order comes in you can essentially just approve it and have gelato fulfill it this will reduce any customer service print errors and they'll know exactly what they're designing is what they're going to get by allowing personalization not only can you justify higher prices but you can also see a significant lift in your profit margins as personalized products carry a higher perceived value and that value translates directly into better profits with the designs now loaded in and your website tested you're that much closer to going live now the one thing that's really cool about gelato is that they actually manufacture the products to the closest location that your customer's at so i placed an order here and the facility was a, a state or two away so it got here pretty quickly now before i show you guys how this turned out i want to go ahead and mention one thing that's going to be the key difference between you guys having success and struggling a little bit and that's in branding having a strong brand name and memorable elements is going to be the key difference between somebody clicking on your website when you're promoting it or just scrolling past it and not memorizing it all which is really where a strong and powerful domain name comes in and this is where dot store comes into play instead of having a website that reads something like yourbrands.net or tommypolos123.com you should consider using a simpler, easy to remember website domain ending in a .store domain because it not only gives you brand recognition and recent studies has actually proven to help you sell more as it makes your store way easier to find. The word store is simple, which means that websites on a .store get two times the visibility on Google. And if that wasn't enough, you also get 12% lesser cost per conversion when running ads because a brand is more than just a name. It's a vibe, it's a story, and it's how customers perceive your name and how you communicate what you're doing to the rest of the world. So when it comes to creating an effective brand name there's three things to keep in mind the very first is to make sure that it resonates with your brand identity this is something that needs to resonate with your core values the second is to make sure that it's memorable you don't want to choose something that's very hard to remember and last but not least it's got to be original because trends come and go and if you're following a trend it's only going to last so long so if you're building something that you want to last for years or decades to come make sure you're always looking about it in an original way and since dot store is a domain name for online sellers you should consider reserving your dot store domain as e-commerce brand currently using it include mr beast and rihanna mr beast even ditched the usual dot com for a dot store because he thought it was a better fit for his online store and a website that ends in dot store tells your customers right away that they've stumbled on an online store and helps you stand out from those long and confusing website names and once you've got your domain name you can head on over to elevate dot store and you can actually pick up a bundle of discounts from all the suppliers that you're going to need to start doing business online we're going to link that offer right down below because it's worth up to twenty five hundred dollars 
$20 and you guys can get that absolutely free. The beauty is that it's open to anybody. So anybody watching right now can get these deals. Make sure you sign up there. Now let's open up this package and see how our designs came out. I'm actually pretty excited to see how this came out. Okay, check it out, check it out. Overall, the print looks nice. This is a direct to garment print. So it's called DTG, which allows you to do full color, no setup fees. I did the black on the front. I wanted to see how it came out on the black t-shirt. You guys can see there. It's a little challenging to actually get the blacks through because you got a black garment, but they did a, they did a pretty good job in making that possible. Now, what I wanted to show you guys with this t-shirt was the ability for you to be able to activate personalization onto your existing store. Now, the beauty about this is that you guys can create new collections for an audience that may not that may only purchase once a year. You can now get them back to come seasonally. Now, in this example, I attempted to do something that was a little bit more for the everyday personalization. So like if somebody were to gift it to me, like whether it be my wife gifting me a present, reminding myself not to forget to smile, right? So that's the idea behind this product if you're out there watching and you have some designs that could be for like a valentine's day or some other special collection drop consider adding a personalized element to it because it definitely makes it super unique i mean check that out and since this is such a new concept for clothing brand owners i want to go ahead and take you to a current existing model that's happening on etsy where people are actually offering personalized garments i'm going to show you some of those stores i ran into to get some of these ideas finalized in your head and you could be closer to launch this a lot sooner than you think let's check it out Etsy is a platform that integrates directly with Gelato and allows brand owners to sell on the platform with print on demand. Now in apparel, I have a popular example here that shows how sellers are personalizing products through the use of embroidery. Now by ordering a sample of the products that you design and taking pictures of it, it'll help sell the product visually while also giving it a handmade feel, which is what Etsy really prides itself on. As you can see, the starting price is at $22.40, but as you scale up in sizes, it actually ranges in price range. In this example, the seller is giving buyers the option to customize the chest and sleeve hits but since etsy only gives buyers the option to only write in one box gelato actually built an ai program that reads the text that the customers insert and organizes all the information and formats it for print production after the orders are placed you're able to streamline your logistics through gelato's dashboard and you get the right product to the customers the first time this all results in higher satisfaction and great reviews now another popular example that people are selling with personalization includes posters Sometimes these posters just really resonate with the target market of people that want to personalize it for gifts such as Father's Day and other important events. Now in the same aspect, you're able to select your frame size and then you're able to start adding your messaging here. Gelato streamlines the back end and this is how you can apply it to your brand today. Now in this example, you're able to customize the text and write a personal message to your dad as well as the kids involved. Now this is an example of how Etsy is bringing personalization to the forefront and I highly encourage that you take inspiration from this to launch it for your own brand there you have it guys those are some examples of different brands in the market that are selling at different price points now the key thing you need to keep in mind is how is it that you're gonna differentiate yourself from everybody else in the market and right now it's the it's the easiest time to make money and it's the easiest time to start creating designs because you can literally start working with AI or start working with any design program as long as you identify a market you figure out how you're gonna create an experience that's different you're that much closer to having success with your brand. So if you enjoyed this video, I highly encourage that you guys hit that subscribe button, turn on that post notification bell. And if you're looking to get started with Gelato Personalization Studio, I encourage you guys to check out the links in the description because by signing up to there, you get a special discount on the samples that you order. Just make sure you look at those terms and conditions in the description right down below. Now, I appreciate every single one of you guys watching. And if you're looking to really elevate your brand and maybe start designing things a little bit differently, I highly encourage that you check out this video here where we dive into the designing and reason why brands fail. Watch that video and I'll see you there.